Hello guys, greetings from Kharkov, Ukraine. My name is Svetlana Mucha and I am the leading matchmaker and dating coach at Dior.com. Today I have prepared for you seven first date conversation tips for men. And the tip number one, admit it that you are nervous. Guys, it is not a crime to tell at the very beginning of the very first date that you feel nervous. Uh, I always tell it to all our clients that, uh, trust me, the lady in front of you, uh, she also feels nervous because first dates, uh, it's always a nervous experience. And if you will honestly admit it that you are nervous, and especially if we are talking about international dating, it will mean that it's not like every day or every week you are traveling over to Ukraine to meet the ladies. So this is also a new, a very unusual experience for you. So if you are admitting that you are also nervous, you kind of put yourself and the lady on the same page uh, she will understand that you are also human and uh, you are not afraid to share your feelings you are not afraid to appear vulnerable the tip number two ask questions guys if you think about it what really interests people I will answer you themselves if you really want to win the lady in front of you encourage her to talk about herself how to do it? Ask your questions. If you don't know what to ask, there is always a safe topic. You can talk about traveling and also you can ask about your favorites. What is your favorite book? What is your favorite movie? What is your favorite kind of wine? What is your favorite destination to travel to? Talk about things that she is interested in and that are important to her. For example, she is Ukrainian but she speaks fluent English. You can start by complimenting her fluent English and after that you can ask her how did she manage to learn English so well. We all love talking about our achievements, so talking about her degree, asking her where did she go to high school, to which university she went, asking about her job, not about her salary. It's always a good idea. By the way, if during the date she is the one to think of all interesting questions to ask and you limit your questions to and you, this is not a good scenario. Unfortunately, sometimes men take this tip to the extreme and they turn their date into a real interrogation and they keep shooting one question after another and they don't give a lady a chance to actually ask him a question or to change a topic. Don't be like that. Three. Don't try to be the center of the date. If you are the kind of a person who always tries to be the one up, well, that's not sexy or romantic. When you are on a date, don't try to act like this pushy salesman who tries to sell himself by belittling his date, by proving that he is better. Once a gentleman during the whole date was describing to a lady how hot he looks. Later on the lady told us that the whole date she was feeling like screaming out loud, hello, I'm actually here, I can see you and I can judge by myself if you are hot or not. By the way, this same gentleman has decided to sell himself by describing how much his clothes cost and he has even named the brand of his socks and their price. Boasting is a huge no-no on a date. If you want to show the lady that you are financially comfortable, you can do it by bringing nice flowers or by mentioning where you usually spend your vacations. Guys, women are not stupid. If you spend your vacations on Maldives and Bali and you do not stick to surfers camp, she can put two and two together, she can understand that you are well off. Don't try to kill every story she is sharing with you, with your own story. Also, do not critique what the lady is sharing with you. Once a gentleman has decided to critique choices, life choices of the lady, she was sharing with him that uh, she went to London several times because the company she was working for has paid for her course and she's a web designer and she was taking classes there and after every training course she went to participate in, uh, she has decided to stay for one or two weeks to do some sightseeing and of course she did it on her own cost. And the gentleman told her that it is so stupid to pay so much money for such expensive trips when she doesn't own property. Like first date, she didn't ask for your financial advice, like really? Or another nightmare date scenario. The lady has started sharing stories about her last trip to Prague and the gentleman has dismissed her by telling that he has already been to Prague for three times so he knows all the sites and she doesn't have to tell him about Prague. Guys, don't try to one-up your date, it's not a competition. Four. 
too much information. How much you earn or how much you own to a bank, how much your divorce has costed you or how much you have paid the matchmaker to be introduced to this lady. Guys, a lady doesn't need this information. If by the end of the first date she knows the name of your ex and names of all your relatives and colleagues, it is bad. Guys, first date is neither the time nor the place to discuss your ex, to speak about your divorce, to speak why your last relationship did not work out. There will be time and place for that. Also, if you are into international dating and you have traveled to Ukraine already to meet other women, the lady you are meeting right now, she doesn't need to know about all other women you have met. Never badmouth your exes, never badmouth other women you have met. Ex talk uh, should happen when you know each other well and also in many cases you shouldn't talk about it. And first date is definitely not the place and not the time. 5. Avoid negative topics. Guys, I know that pandemic, sleeping president, unstable political situation and conflict on Middle East are hot topics at the moment. It doesn't mean though that you have to cover them on the first date. Trust me, if your date wants to get uh, latest news, she can just uh, log in on Facebook or turn her TV on. If she wants to be reminded how scary it is to live in 2021. Dates should be fun and romantic and after the date she has to have this pleasant aftertaste and if during the date you were talking about the conflict in Middle East, she will associate you and your date with this discussion. Trust me, she hasn't invested two hours of her life into dressing up and preparing for the date to talk about COVID. Six. Don't ask how much money she or her parents make. Of course, you can and you actually should ask about her job. About her job, not about her salary. You can ask what she really likes about her job. Why she has chosen to become a teacher or a web designer. Of course, you can ask what her parents do for a living or about their education. But never ever ask how much money they earn, especially not on the first, second or third date. Why do you need that information? Once a gentleman has told a lady on a first date that wow a real Chanel purse uh, you must earn really good money or are your parents rich or maybe your ex is rich or another one so this is your favorite restaurant it's quite pricey do you dine here often how can you afford it or oh, perhaps your dates pay for you and another winner Oh, so you are driving a brand new Lexus? Wow, good for you! Have you taken a loan to afford it? 7. Don't lie or exaggerate. If the lady has asked you, do you date often or when did you have last serious relationship and for example you haven't been dating for three years, don't create any stories. You can honestly tell the lady that uh, dating was not a priority for you and you haven't been dating for a while because you were focused on your career, on this interesting project, uh, your kids were entering college, you were traveling or studying for a degree. Don't lie. Guys, don't lie about your income, popularity among women. God forbid, don't lie about your marital status, about your age, etc. If she's ordering seafood and you're allergic to seafood, just order something else. If she's asking you about your ex and, for example, your ex has cheated on you and it still hurts and you don't want to talk about it, don't create any stories. Just tell her that nothing criminal has happened and uh, once you get to know each other better for sure you will have the ex talk but right now you want to concentrate on the present and getting to know a beautiful lady in front of you better if you share a custody over your kids with your ex don't lie to a lady that oh kids hardly ever stay with me if for example they stay with you every second week if for example you do not have a really big travel experience don't lie about places you have visited if you have never been there it is much better to talk about places Places you want to visit or you plan to visit and to tell the lady why you want to go there, which sites you will visit. Guys, I hope it was helpful and I hope these tips will help you not only survive but also actually enjoy the first date. I want to wish you love, Svetlana Mucha, especially for Diola.com. Bis love!